I love when people tell me I'm going to burn out. And then I always just very, very sincerely tell them that I apologize for not taking advice on burning out from someone who's never been on fire. How do you keep yourself from burnout? You don't. <laughs> Uh, burnout is inevitable when you're operating at like an insanely high level and at an insanely fast pace. Um, I think the key to mitigating burnout, because again, you know, if you're operating at that level, like it's just something to expect, but the way to mitigate it is just in all the activities that you do where you are uh, being intentional with your time whether that's time blocking you know goal setting daily weekly goals you have to put in structure in place to rest um, it's probably something that i don't talk about enough um, kind of like gary v doesn't talk about it enough but he takes time every now and then to talk about the fact that like you know sleep is highly underrated um, like you have to sleep or you die. Um, and you certainly can't operate at the level that you could without rest. Um, and it's good timing for this question because I'm starting 75 hard again on Monday. And there was a lot of burnout during last 75 hard um, that I had to push through. But I think it was taking intentional time and saying like, okay, this Saturday, like I really need to take some time and, and let my body rest and let my mind rest. Um, but it's an interesting thing with burnout. When you're doing stuff that you love to do, or when you're just doing stuff that you're passionate about, I think you have a less chance of that burnout really setting in. Um, because you're excited, you know? Excitement, passion, feeling like you're doing something with purpose, on purpose, like all of those things help for that burnout not to affect you. Um, it's still probably gonna happen at some point, but the key is not letting it affect your you know, level of execution. But I think for us to sit here and say, you know, here's how you don't burn out, that's, that's impossible. Um, now certainly if you're operating at a mediocre level and not really going after anything extraordinary, you can probably skate by without ever burning out. But again, if you're operating at a high level, um, it's just something to expect. And it's something to not beat yourself up on when it happens, because it's a natural part of the cycle. Um, you know, a, a lot of this too um, can be mitigated by, like I said, structuring your time, but planning like vacations, planning time off and having that already set in the calendar to where you're looking forward to that. Um, getting your family involved, because there's burnout from your family as well when you're traveling a lot and you're working a lot, like they get burnt out um, from that type of schedule that you're on. But if you have those things in place, like if you have that communication level where you're saying like, all right guys, I'm gonna, you know, next 90 days, like I'm gonna be like hardcore all in i'm going to be really busy but hey in 90 days we're going to go to the lake for a weekend or we're going to go to disney world or we're going to go to wherever like or we're just going to do something fun like around town like something that'll be like a fun experience for everybody so that everybody's looking forward to that and there's something about the mindset of knowing that you have a break coming that alleviates that burn burned out feeling as you're heading towards it. Cause you know like, hey, I've only got four more weeks. Hey, I've only got two more weeks. And when your family knows that and everybody's in communication, I think that helps a lot. Um, so just being more intentional with your time. Um, intentional with your time with work and intentional with your time uh, for rest. 